guys, uh, welcome to another video of uh, Thug's Egg Ink progress and just uh, giving some helpful tips. So today I will be covering what's called um, IHR prestiging, otherwise known as internal hatch rate rate, which is um, if you go to Epic Research, right, you have Epic Hatch Rate, but further down is this little thing right here, internal hatch rate calm. And um, what that means is that while you're away from the farm, or while you're in the farm, um, you're going to be producing more chickens. Okay, so what does that exactly mean? Okay, so if you guys don't know how to do prestige runs, I have other videos, and you'll get a pretty good idea right here. But uh, basically, the whole point is to whenever you hit the prestige button, get as right right down here. You want to get as many eggs as you can. Now I have a lot of eggs and a lot a lot of soul eggs, a lot of prophecy eggs. So uh, yours, depending on where you at, may look a lot different than mine. Um, but the whole idea is you want to have these different um, artifact sets saved. So right now I have I have four. Um, this bottom one right here, right? That's my dilithium set. So whenever that go to do a boost, it is longer, right? So my boost lasts for about 25 minutes because of that. Um, I have a I have my prestiging set, right? This is the set that uh, gives me the most soul eggs. Um, to find that, you can I'll link the the description. Uh, I'll link the put the link in the description. But it's a it's Wasmeg. It's a smart app, a smart assistant that, that shows you exactly what to equip to get the best prestige artifacts. And then I have what's called an IHR internal hatchery rate set. Um, and the whole point of this is you want to have your best chalice right here. Um, and you want to have your best monocle, and then you want to have two placeholders just to throw on some um, some life stones to give you further in internal hatchery rate. So what does this look like, and why does it matter? Um, I'm going to show you real, real quick. I will do one prestige. That is just normal prestige. I won't switch artifacts. I will keep these artifacts on right here the whole time, and we'll see how many soul eggs I get. And then we'll compare it to internal hatchery rate. And then I'll show you some tricks on how to best do that. So um, first of all, before you start, you got to make sure exactly you know what egg you're shooting for, where your build-up point is, and where you move on from that. There's a, um, a really nice graphic right here, if you can see on the screen, um, that shows your, your role right in Egg Inc. Um, and if you don't know what that is, um, it's attached to the Discord server. I'll also put a link to that in the description. Just so you have a good idea of, of what these what these numbers mean, right? And so um, as you get higher uh, earning bonuses, right, you won't have to jump two times. So for a while, you'll have to jump to either Tachyon and then Dilithium and then Universe. But uh, once you hit Yoda 1, which is 437 e, um, SEB, then you can finally jump to just jump once, that Graviton, and then eventually jump to Universe. So... Um, I'll just I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll describe the process real quick if you don't know exactly um, and I'll give you an, an idea there's some calculations you can use but there's there's an easier way that I found okay so because my runs are 25 minutes and 10 seconds my legs in order to be a leg which is a part of a procedure run in order to, for it to be equal throughout the entire thing I could do 14 legs so I can hit that prestige button 14 different times and that means that every single leg will be about a minute and 50 seconds. Um, so let's get to it. Okay. So I'm going to hit this prestige button, right? And um, I'll just show you, show you some things along the way. So again, this first one will just be a regular prestige. Um, no changing artifacts, just with my base artifacts. Okay, so I'm going to do the dilithium jump. There we go, and then start building eggs. Start building chickens. So once you reach a high enough earning bonus, you actually don't need to build the habitats. But for most of y'all, it'll be a good idea to build habitats. So another thing to keep note of is there's a specific amount of research that you need in order to reach Universe Egg. And that changes based on your earning bonus, how far you have to get, and everything else. So that's mine right there. Circle went around, and I got to Universe Egg Farm. Alright, so for, for this, you just probably just need to build one habitat, should be enough. And some people like to build vehicles, I'm not a huge fan, because um, you don't really lose that much time. So. Okay, 
So if you see me, like I'm using, sometimes I use three fingers, sometimes I use four, um, and it just, depending on how dexterous you are, depending on your phone, um, that'll change how many you need to use. Okay, I'll go one more. All right, and so you want to keep track of exactly when you're supposed to prestige. Um, you want to have enough shipping, so I only need about three or four, and then two halves is plenty. Okay, so my prestige marker is in about 20 seconds. Okay, right there, 3.2. I will go to enlightenment, so just, just going to pause, and then I'm going to explain some of the internal hatchery rate, and then we'll go to that one. Okay, so same artifacts on. And at this point, um, so whenever you first start out doing internal hatchery rate procedures, maybe you want to pause on, on enlightenment just to get the hang of switching mid-artifacts, but for the sake of uh, showing you all how to do it, I'm just going to equip it and switch it mid-prestige. Okay. Um... All right, so let's just make a note, 2.9Q, and we'll see how much we get with the regular way. That way we can see the difference. Um, and is it really worth switching? I mean, it's, it's kind of a hassle, and it takes a while to get you good at it, but uh, is it really worth the hassle? So some things you want to know before you do it. Um, there's, like, calculations and stuff you could do to find exactly when to prestige. I think the best way to do it is just do it based on a time. Right, so I do about a minute and 50 seconds every leg, so I know that because I prestiged at 22 minutes and 10 seconds, next time will be 20 minutes and 20 seconds, right, regardless of what method I'm going to be doing. Okay, so um, whenever you skip the eggs, so that's, uh, that's one of the things that you need to practice, skipping eggs, right, so you saw me do it, I clicked on this um, after I prestiged. And then I hit a button right below, about right here, right right below the solo egg count. And that, uh, that let me skip the whole black screen and the whole edible egg so you didn't even see it. I just went immediately to the dilithium egg. So during that same process, as soon as you switch eggs, you can also interact with anywhere on the screen, right? You know that because you probably, without thinking about it, you might run chickens, right? And so also you can open your artifact hall, open the folder, and then activate your dilithium set. And so that whenever you actually can move on the dilithium farm, or not your dilithium set, your internal hatchery rate set, your IHR set. That way, as soon as you open the farm, you can go over to this, you can build your habitats, or in my case, I can start research. Okay, so I wanna make sure it's in a good position. Okay, so let's see if I can do this first try. So again, I'm prestiging 2.9. And let's go for the skip. Skip, run some chickens. Now tap, tap, tap. And if you did it right, what? Eternal hatch rate rate set. Right, so, and if you noticed, I exited out of the screen really fast. Super simple, you just gotta double tap. The, um, the necessary double tap is really fast though, so it might be easier for you to just single tap and then tap again. Okay, there we go. Back to universe. And um, the higher your earning bonus, the more procedures you do, the much faster you can reach. So I'm going to build two because with my internal hatchery rate set, you'll notice I get a lot more chickens a lot faster. You also notice I work on uh, different tiers at the same time. Um, that's because some of the some of the items take significantly longer than others. So if I can knock them all out at the same time. Doing pretty great. And I, I personally like I like to run chickens as I'm doing this matter reconfiguration. Um, there's no there's no real gain to it. Okay. Okay. So I did a lot of stuff really really fast right there. Okay, about 30 seconds. Okay, so um, 
what you saw me do was I built three initially and uh, the three vehicles and that's just to cover all of my uh, all my uh, all my chickens and then I also switched artifacts really fast so here we go 4.6 20 seconds, and we'll move on to tone life. Okay. Now, uh, some tips. Like you saw, you saw me earlier, I opened up. If you double tap that, it closes really fast. Watch. See, that's normal closing. And then that's double tap closing. Um, this is only really useful on uh, the artifact house. With, uh, if you're ever on habitats, it's not any faster. You can do it, but it's not any faster. Um, and typically, if you're doing vehicles, you're going to be switching to research, right? So you can just click at the bottom and go straight to your research. Okay, so let's see where we're at. 3Q, okay. All right, we're just going to go to calculator. So 3 minus... 2.9, what about 2.9? Okay, so that's a 3%, 3% change. And um, I mean, that's just for me, right? For you, it's probably gonna be different because you're gonna be doing less legs and the fewer uh, the fewer legs you do, the larger increase you'll see. But for me, right, so, um, all right, so we saw a 3% change and I think that number is actually a little bit different. I think it's uh, whenever I first started doing it, I saw anywhere between 10 and 15% difference, uh, which really adds up over time, especially over those double prestige days on Saturdays. Okay, so back to Egg Inc. So that's, I mean, that's basically it. Um, that's all you need to know about internal hatchery rate. I will do it one more time, just so that you get a, um, you get a good idea of what exactly it looks like. So I'll do it again. Go to prestige and notice where I click. So I click, I click about right here, and then I go up right here, and then I click down. Um, so for me, the best way I did it was I looked at the buttons on the side of my phone, uh, where the power button is, is where I about where I click for the artifact hall, um, because the artifact hall changes positions based on how much research you've done. So um, if you have Right there, the artifact hall will be about right here, right that middle power button for me, and then I go up, I go all the way up here, where that X, where that uh, where that folder is. Right for me, it's where the about where the volume button is, and then I finish it up by clicking on where this activate button is. Right, and I can't see anything, but I know it's about right there. So I'll show it one more time, and. There's the blind jump. And there you go. See, and now I'm back to artifacts. All right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and close this out. Close out the run. And if uh, you saw me skip a tier, um, or skip a, some prestige, some, uh, you see me skip some research, that's because it's research that's not needed in order for me to go up to the next egg. So everything in egg ink is about timing. The faster you can do it, the more soul eggs you'll get. So. Okay. And the reason why I don't build vehicles when I do internal hatchery rate prestiging is because it's a waste of time. Um, what do I mean by that? So whenever you start running chickens, right, your uh, the artifacts you have on during internal hatchery rate are going to be um, much worse than your prestiging set, um, and it's 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 an abysmal difference. So I just I choose not to build the vehicles until after I have finished research. That's when I start right vehicles, and so as soon as I switch those artifacts, I'm getting max benefit immediately. Okay, and so if you if you use uh, two fingers, you can slide faster on the on the farm, so it's a pro tip for you guys, so two fingers versus one finger, right, you go much further, much faster, so, oh, you drunk, got him. <sighs> okay. 
All right, and there's my mark, 30 seconds. And I'll go ahead and sweep. And there it is, 2.9. Okay. So, um, as you guys saw, it's, it's a pretty, pretty good difference um, between the two methods. So, yep. And um, I'll put some links in the description. And thanks, guys.